Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Now, I know what you're thinking. Wow, what a fun and light-hearted topic to discuss. But, in all seriousness, we want to highlight the importance of dam safety and how critical it is for our world today. Dams are structures built to contain water and generate power. They are essential for irrigation, hydroelectric power, and flood control. However, when things go wrong, they can be catastrophic. According to statistics, there have been over 200 significant dam failures worldwide, resulting in the loss of thousands of lives and billions of dollars in damages. Today, we'll talk about 16 of the deadliest dam failures in history. So, buckle up, and let's dive in. Banshao Dam, 1975. Let's start with the big one, the Banshao Dam in China. This dam was designed to withstand a once in a millennium flood, but in 1975, it was hit with a once in two millennia flood. As a result, the dam collapsed, releasing 15 billion cubic meters of water and causing the death of over 170,000 people. That's more than the population of some small countries. It's a heartbreaking tragedy that reminds us of the importance of accurate predictions and the dangers of underestimating the power of nature. St. Francis Dam, 1928. Next up, we have St. Francis Dam in California. This dam was designed by the famous engineer William Mulholland, who had previously designed the Los Angeles Aqueduct. Unfortunately, St. Francis Dam was poorly built and maintained, and in 1928, it collapsed, releasing 12 billion gallons of water and causing the death of over 400 people. It's a reminder that even the best engineers can make mistakes and that proper maintenance is critical for the safety of everyone involved. Viant Dam, 1963. Moving over to Italy, we have the Viant Dam. This dam was built in the 1950s and early 1960s and was designed to create a hydroelectric power plant. Unfortunately, the dam was built in an area susceptible to landslides. In 1963, a landslide caused a massive wave that overtopped the dam, releasing 260 million cubic meters of water and causing the death of over 2,000 people. So again, it's a tragic reminder of the importance of proper location selection and risk assessment. Teton Dam, 1976. Back in the United States, we have the Teton Dam in Idaho. This dam was built in the 1970s, and in 1976, it collapsed, releasing 80 billion gallons of water and causing the death of 11 people. Interestingly, the dam was built on top of a geological fault, which was not discovered until after the disaster. It's a reminder that even with the best technology and geological surveys, we can still miss important information that can affect the safety of our structures. Maq 2 Dam, 1979. Moving over to India, we have the Maq 2 Dam. This dam was built in the 1950s, and in 1979, it collapsed, releasing 50 million cubic meters of water and causing the death of over 5,000 people. The cause of the collapse was poor maintenance and design flaws, which could have been avoided with proper inspection and upgrades. Again, it's a reminder that even minor problems can escalate quickly and that regular maintenance is essential. Buffalo Creek Dam, 1972. We have the Buffalo Creek Dam in West Virginia in the United States. This dam was built in the 1960s, and in 1972, it collapsed, releasing 132 million gallons of water and causing the death of over 125 people. The cause of the collapse was poor maintenance and design flaws, which could have been avoided with proper inspection and upgrades. It's another tragic reminder of the importance of regular inspections and maintenance. Malpasset Dam, 1959. Moving over to France, we have the Malpasset Dam. This dam was built in the 1950s, and in 1959, it collapsed, releasing 50 million cubic meters of water and causing the death of over 400 people. The cause of the collapse was poor design and construction, which could have been avoided with proper planning and oversight. It's a reminder that mistakes made during the design and construction phases can have deadly consequences. Tukirui Dam, 1984. Back in South America, we have the Tukirui Dam in Brazil. This dam was built in the 1970s and 1980s, and in 1984, a spillway failure caused a massive release of water that caused extensive damage downstream. While there were no reported deaths, the incident serves as a reminder of the importance of proper construction and safety measures to prevent accidents. Shamantan Dam, 1975. Moving over to China, we have the Shamantan Dam. 
This dam was built in the 1970s, and in 1975, a severe storm caused a massive release of water that damaged downstream areas and caused the death of over 200 people. The incident highlights the importance of preparing for extreme weather events and maintaining safety measures. Val di Stava Dam, 1985. We have the Val di Stava Dam in Italy. This dam was built in the 1950s, and in 1985, it collapsed, releasing 180,000 cubic meters of water and causing the death of over 260 people. The cause of the collapse was poor maintenance and safety measures, which could have been avoided with proper inspection and upgrades. Kelly Barnes Dam, 1977. The Kelly Barnes Dam in the United States. The Kelly Barnes Dam was built in the 1960s to provide water for a resort. However, in November 1977, the dam suddenly failed, releasing a wave of water and debris. The resulting flood killed 39 people and destroyed several buildings. The Baldwin Hills Reservoir, 1963. Moving on to the next dam, we have the Baldwin Hills Reservoir in the United States. The Baldwin Hills Reservoir was built in the 1950s to provide water for Los Angeles. However, in December 1963, the dam failed, releasing over 292 million gallons of water. The flood killed five people and caused over $12 million in damages. Tacoa Falls Dam, 1977. Our next dam is the Tacoa Falls Dam in the United States. The Tacoa Falls Dam was built in the 1880s to provide water for a college. However, in November 1977, heavy rain caused the dam to fail, releasing a wave of water. The resulting flood killed 39 people, including several college students. Bocordain Dam, 1989. We have the Bocordain Dam in Algeria. The Bocordain Dam was built in the 1980s to provide irrigation water. However, in April 1989, the dam failed, releasing a wave of water. The resulting flood killed over 200 people and destroyed several villages. The Latouille Dam, 1999. Our next dam is the Latouille Dam in Vietnam. The Latouille Dam was built in the 1990s to provide irrigation water. However, in November 1999, Heavy rain caused the dam to fail, releasing a wave of water. The resulting flood killed over 500 people and destroyed several villages. Shangjaba Dam, 2013. Lastly, we have the Shangjaba Dam in China. The Shangjaba Dam was built in the 2000s to provide hydroelectric power. However, in August 2013, a landslide caused a wave of water to overflow the dam. The resulting flood killed several people and caused millions of dollars in damages. So, there you have it 16 of the world's deadliest dam failures. It's a sobering reminder of the importance of proper design, construction, and maintenance for dams and other critical infrastructure. As you can see, dam failures can be extremely devastating, and it's essential to ensure that proper precautions and maintenance are taken to prevent these types of disasters from happening. As always, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.